Hey, what's going on guys? Sean here, living the corporate pilot life. I'm hanging out in the hangar right now on one of our Gulf Streams. Uh, I got a quick Tech Tuesday video for you guys. Uh, something I've been asked a little bit about and it's the door seal on the, uh, on the Gulf Stream G4. But I want to introduce you to my co-pilot for today. This is Trip. Trip is uh, our, our local mascot over here. He's uh, one of our flight attendants, uh, a dog. She, uh, she brings him over here and hangs out with us every now and then. This guy is so cool. He is a trip. What's up, buddy? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's some action right there. So anyway, I'm gonna get uh, get trip on his way, and I'm gonna show you guys the uh, the door seal on the Gulfstream, show you guys how it seals to the airplane and how it operates. So give me a couple minutes. I'm gonna get you guys down here and show you a little bit about the door. All right. So here's the open door on the Gulfstream G4. As you can see, it's laid out as you would typically see it in a fully open position. Um, but what a lot of people are trying to figure out is how it seals to prevent air from escaping once it's closed, how you create the pressurized cabin, because let's face it, that is a giant hole in the side of the airplane. So the way it works is this little seal right here, you can see it's kind of depressed in right now. That is actually an air inflated seal. And it goes all the way around the perimeter of this door. Like I said, all the way here, and this is actually the top of the door. So when it folds up, that ends up all the way up there by the roof. But it goes all the way around the, uh, the entire door and it actually uh, gets filled with pressurized air from the bleed air system off the engines or the APU. Um, and there's actually a, a little uh, airline right inside there. It's really hard to see. But underneath this cover right here, there's an airline that kind of makes its way in. Maybe you can see it down in there. I don't know. But it's, uh, it's just a small little airline. And that's what feeds air into that, uh, that seal and uh, inflates the seal. And then it pushes against the frame of the airplane so it would push against like right here all the way around the perimeter and you can kind of see where it's been pushing in up here on this top section this is actually like a very hard rubberized material up here on the top so it pushes in around all the way around it creates a pretty much a perfect airtight seal around the air uh, the uh, opening and that's what uh, keeps the the air inside the airplane uh, and without bleed air obviously that won't work and you'll lose pressurization very quickly for several reasons but this is obviously one of them these holes that you see here, these are for the bayonets that actually lock the airplane door shut. There's, a, there's a, let's see, there's one here, there's one down here. Same thing, there's one over here, here, and then two holes here and right here. And those bayonets are the ones that actually secure the airplane door shut. And I can show you what those look like out here. These are the actual bayonets right there. So when you look, close the door and latch it, those stick out a little ways. They, they will engage little micro switches, which that one you can kind of see the micro switch over there. Um, and that's what holds the, the airplane door shut. And then as that happens, it triggers the, uh, the switch to, uh, to inflate that seal. And then when we go to open the door, we, when we pull the, the handle, you have to hold the handle open for just maybe 10 seconds and that deflates that seal lets the air out of it and then the uh, the seal retracts back into to the door here and then you can open the door. What happens from time to time when pilots are in a rush, sometimes they'll open the door too quickly and they won't let this the seal deflate all the way and pull in and when they push it open it can rip this seal. So for those of you out there flying the line, make sure you're, uh, you're holding that little, uh, there's actually a ball on the inside of the door and that little red ball is what deflates the seal. So hold that up and open for about 10 to 15 seconds until that, that seal completely deflates and then you can open the door. Do it too soon, you could potentially rip the door seal and, uh, and cause pressurization issues. Uh, it actually happened to, uh, to me once, maybe three, four years ago, something like that, going into Hawaii, we had a door seal that ripped. It was just old and it got a small hole in it and uh, going into Hawaii, it, it uh, deflated on us just a little bit and uh, caused a pretty loud leak. Nothing critical at the moment. We held pressurization, landed uneventful into uh, Honolulu. But, um, but yeah, these things do happen. And uh, so something to watch out for. As you can see, we got a couple more bayonets over here. We have a roller right here. And this is what kind of guides it centered into the hole up there into the opening. So yeah, that's it. That's the, uh, the door seal on the Gulfstream G4 system. Uh, works really well, lasts a long time. Um, we've, like I said, only had one failure in my experience directly with it. I know a lot of pilots have had failures, failures of the, uh, the door seal system from time to time. Um, if you do have a door seal failure, they say you can do a couple things. You can put like a, a wet rag over the area and as you, as you put the wet rag in there, the cold air outside will freeze the water and it can seal it up. So if you're cruising across the Atlantic Ocean and that happens, 
depressurizing at that point is going to be pretty bad, so you don't want to do that. Um, I've heard of people that, can, that have used like a garbage bag from the inside and they can they push like a garbage bag over the hole if they, if they start to deflate the, uh, the door seal. And then, you know, the garbage bag seals it up and it kind of sucks it into the hole there. Problem with that is if the garbage bag gets sucked all the way through the, the hole, it, you know, if the pressurization pushes it all the way out, guess what's back there right behind the door? The engine. Next thing you know, you got a garbage bag going through the engine. So I've heard a lot of people say, yeah, you can do that, but I don't know that I would. The, uh, the rag method uh, would be my first go-to, I suppose, to, to try and seal up a, a door seal if I had to while I was in a, you know, over the water situation. So something to think about out there. Um, like I said, I've never had to do any of those. Hopefully I never do, but you never know. So anyway, hopefully you guys learned a little something today. Uh, give me the thumbs up if you liked it and subscribe if you're new. We'll see you guys on the next Tech Tuesday. See ya.